African American women of childbearing age lead the whole world in deaths due to complications relating to pregnancy or childbirth. Black women are two to three times more likely to die than a white woman in the US, regardless of education and socioeconomic status. The US maternal mortality rate is higher than all other wealthy countries. Systemic racism is the root cause for the disparity. The number one culprit is preeclampsia. As of today, there is a bright light at the end of the tunnel. And it's not another freight train. The groundbreaking news as of July 3rd, 2023 is a new blood test for preeclampsia has been developed that can predict early signs of the dangerous condition weeks before it develops. The test is particularly effective at determining which women are most at risk of developing the severest form of preeclampsia. The new PLGF, Placental Growth Factor Blood Test, speeds up diagnosis and is the first advance in diagnosing the deadly condition since it was discovered more than a century ago. Preeclampsia is a dangerous pregnancy condition that affects 1 in 25 pregnancies in the USA. It can cause high blood pressure, damage to organs, and even death. But now there's a new blood test that can predict early signs of preeclampsia weeks before it develops in the body. The new PLGF, Placental Growth Factor Blood Test, speeds up diagnosis and is particularly effective at determining which women are most at risk of developing the severest form of preeclampsia. It's the first advance in diagnosing that deadly condition since it was discovered more than a century ago. Preeclampsia is currently diagnosed at or after week 20 at the earliest. If verified and approved, the test could be a game changer in preeclampsia care in the years to come, particularly in black communities with high rates of the condition. It has been reported that this blood test is 96% accurate. To me, that means 96% of all of the women who have died in the last three years didn't have to die. That really enrages me. An even better description is that it pisses me off. This blood test has been successfully used in many places around the world for years. Why didn't it occur to someone that perhaps, with the escalating death rates among African American women, that this test should have been escalated to a top high priority status years ago? This blood test should be a standard free of charge test for every pregnant woman in America. Without question, or debate, it should become the automatic go-to blood test for any African-American woman who becomes pregnant. In view of the recent reversal of Roe v. Wade, failure to do so immensely would be equal to gross malpractice on steroids. The new blood test for preeclampsia is an exciting development that could save lives by predicting early signs of this dangerous pregnancy condition. It's particularly effective at determining which women are most at risk of developing the severest form of preeclampsia. If verified and approved, this test could be a game changer in preeclampsia care in the years to come, particularly in black communities with the highest rates.